evening, ladies and gentlemen. We have a patient with us with an amputation at the wrist. If you look at the stump, Netraf Mungallo. All right. Bas. Bas. Yahan se pakar lo. E bazu kaise upar karo? Aise. So the function at the elbow is good, and the biceps appear to be all right. But if you see muscles distal to the elbow, they obviously are not there. They were weak. Uh, Dr. Nassar, would you like to comment and describe this stump? This is congenital. This is, this is, uh, this is, this is uh, the congenital deficiency of uh, the limb. This is called amelia. Mm. And uh, this is deficient beyond the rest giant. Mm. Uh, there is only the remnants of the thumbs mm. are visible. Mm. On the rest of the four fingers, they are not present congenitally. All the right. Resting of the forearm muscles. Okay. Okay. That is obviously because okay. the hand is not being used. Yes. That's why. All right. This is, this is, this is but true. still, if you see, there's some preservation of muscles. Ah, this is some preservation and the proximal of the forearms. Yeah. Is ko yungaro. Now this shows that since there is some movement at the thumb, so this means muscles moving the thumb, which are. Hallucis, yes. extensors, mm -hmm. and flexors, mm -hmm. they probably are working, which we can be <coughs> sure on electromyography. Mm -hmm. Okay, rest of them, isko uh, hilauzra. So there's a move. This means that there is some movement at the wrist. So there is potential wrist. Asikaro? There is, and if you see from here, um, asikaro, this supination and restricted supination but pronation is good and then if you see there are thinner and hypo thinner muscles they are also uh, so this means the amputation is not through wrist there is preservation of remnant of the thumb and thinner and hypo thinner muscles and probably it's like four to five centimeters distal to the wrist and as a result of that there is a flexion as and extension although partial flexion and extension of the wrist also now i'm going to ask few questions about its functionality इस हाथ ये बचपन से ऐसा है, पिताजी से ऐसा है। इससे क्या-क्या काम कर लेती हो? कोई काम नहीं करती है यार। हैं? इससे कोई काम कर सकती हो? मतलब कोई चीज उठानी हो तो इसको पकड़ के उठा नहीं लेती? पकड़ लेती हूँ। उठा लेती हो। देश का उठाना हो, बहुत भारी ना हो तो उठा लेती हो। तो हो गए ना काम अच्छा मिसाल के तौर पे आ, अकेला इस हाथ को इस्तेमाल करना फिर मुश्किल है क्योंकि इसमें कुछ पकड़ नहीं सकती क्योंकि हाथ है ही नहीं है लेकिन वो हाथ जब ये हाथ के साथ मिलके कुछ ना कुछ उदेनल काम कर लेंदी है हाउ विल यू कमेंट अबाउट फंक्शनलिटी and you think that as far as using it for assistance is concerned it's fairly satisfactory work do you agree or you don't agree? I agree. What are your comments? The same thing, I think, uh, also second your thoughts and your opinion. Uh, his uh, um, even nickname is not a useless name. It's mm. definitely, uh, she's definitely using her name mm. to uh, do his to work, assist. Her, uh, household job. All right. Household work. On a, uh, if I say that uh, as a single name, mm. no doubt it's uh, not much of use. All right. But uh, in uh, uh, companionship with other name. Uh, All right. Okay. Now we look at the same problem with a different aspect. Ye pakro. तुम मेरा बेटा अभी चाहती हो कि इसको हाथ लग जाए? हाँ बोलो ना 
کہ ہاتھ لگ جائے اوکے اچھا ہاتھ لگے اس کو قریب رکھو نا ہاتھ لگے تو وہ کام کرے اگر ہم ہاتھ لگا دیں اور وہ کام نہ کرے تو پھر کیا فائدہ ہوگا یا نہیں کوئی فائدہ پھر کوئی فائدہ نہیں ہے وہ کام کرنا چاہیے کتنا کی وہ کام کرنا چاہیے مطلب کیا وہ کام ہے جو اس سے تم کرنا چاہتی ہو اب نہیں ہو پا رہا مطلب تم روٹی کھا لیتی ہو اس ہاتھ سے سجا استعمال کر دی ہے نا ہاں ہاں تم بتاؤ تسی آئے ہو نا ساڑے کول ٹھیک ہے جی بیہ جو ایسے بیہ جو تو اس ساڑے کول آئے ہو نا اے ساڑی تی ہے بیٹی ہے نا میری یہ انہوں ہاتھ لانا ہے بہت بہادر بچی ہے ان تسی ہاتھ لوان آئے ہو تو اٹھی زین اچھ کی ہے گئے لگ جانا چاہی دے ایک گل ہو گئی لگ جائے تو کم ہی کرنا چاہی دے اگر کم نہ کرے تو پھر فائدہ نہیں پھر بکار ہو گیا نا ٹھیک ہے آر رائٹ یہاں پکڑ لیں ناو لیڈیز جنرمان آئی تنگ دس اس بے ری ہیپ کنسلٹنٹ ہیس ٹو پلے ای ویری وائٹل رول اور یو ہیپ ٹو انشور that if you are doing anything for the benefit of the patient whether it is really workable beneficial or not sometimes we just do it for reasons we even don't know sometimes we only do it because the patient wants us to do it now let me give you a rehab opinion number one this is a congenital problem congenital problem means that she already has been living with this for the last if she's say about 18 or 20 years old for the last 20 years old she's been living and she's used to living her life with this number two her right hand which is a functional hand which is two-third of the hand from rehab point of view it is two-third of the hand it is already viable functional and very good left hand even otherwise in our life if you look at it it usually in a assistive hand and uh, that even is viable till wrist she has a good flexion at the elbow she has a good shoulder and she has a good wrist from my point of view if you look at the functionality she probably can perform more than 85 to 90 percent of the gross tasks it only appears to be a problem when it comes to finer works now at this stage what are the choices now i'm talking for conventional hands i'm not talking about myolectic hands the kind of a country we are living in the society we are living in we have to look at the cost we have to look at the nature of work people have to do now with this we can let me show you we have a variety of hands for example ye dekho beta ye ek hath hai theek hai this hand is called a mechanical hand this mechanical hand works mechanically we have a string attached to this hand and we wear this string around our shoulder and when we make a movement of this arm this string it is stretched and the hand opens and closes you can look at it all right and it can lift something like for example give me anything this small thing give me this thing for example you know if i have to isko haath mein rakho aise karo tali pe is tali pe theek hai so if i have a hand and if i want to lift it i can lift it so this can be a functional hand all right but normally this is used when the amputation is below elbow if the stump is at this level if the stump is at this level this portion is not there and the wrist is not there this portion is not there the hand practically is useless although even then it can be used as a support not as good as the support is 
in that situation this hand can be fitted the stump can be fitted into this and mechanically the patient can have a pinch or a pen grip or a knife grip and it could be of some practical use in her case we can use this but if you look at the stump in my opinion functionally okay functionally this is already uh, doing a lot of work here we will have to give a hand cut from this side which are, which only will be a cosmetic hand and a non functional hand and i personally believe that even if we attach only this part it may look cosmetically that there is a hand but it probably is going to cause more obstructions as well as practicalities concern so i personally believe and suggest as a doctor that she should be counseled she should be persuaded and she should be made sure that if at all she wants a prosthesis this prosthesis is going to make more hindrance in her life rather than to cause facilitation because she will have to wear it unwear it wear it unwear it and then of course as long as it is there it may not be of big help so this natural hand which has sensations which has some grip i think this probably yes i would recommend this hand only for cosmetic reasons maybe at the time of marriage maybe at the time when she has to go out and face people and they would like to look at it and make uh, you see some comments so for that reason this hand is viable for practical purposes it should not be any 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 comments you want to add anything to this ab hands ke bare mein thon ye ke se dekhe we have already divided into cosmetic and functional hand functional head uh, is not very useful for mm. step only cosmetically she can use it mm -hmm. so other again if uh, it is the matter of marriage or it is the matter of social interaction mm. then uh, the cosmetic hand i mean this what i said this 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 what i said yeah Hmm. Now let's see her comments. <coughs> या पकड़ लो असी डॉक्टर्स ने बात की है हम ये कह रहे हैं कि अल्लाह ताला के फजल से इसका जो हाथ है अल्लाह का शुक्र है यहाँ से नहीं कटा यहाँ से नहीं कटा ये ऑलरेडी बहुत से काम कर रहा है अगर हम इसको सिर्फ इतना हाथ लगा के देंगे ये ऐसे ही लगा रहेगा एक कम नहीं करेगा बल्कि हून ये एद कोई चीज़ चुक चक लेंदी है ए लगे होएगा तो ये चुकड़ भी नहीं देगा इनू असी एक हथ बना दें वो सिर्फ उस वेले ला लवे जिस वेले कोई शादी ब्याह से जाना हो या अपनी शादी का वेला हो या कोई ऐसा मौका हो जिथे कुड़िया होंगे ना वो देख के वो कह दें जी हथ की है गए ठीक है ना वो नहीं चाहिए <laughs> और नहीं कहनिया नहीं तो फिर तू मैं दस तू मैं दस कि फिर लवाना है कि नहीं लवाना नहीं पहले मेरी गल समझ रहे हो ना कि अगर ये इस वास्ते लवाना है कि कम करे इधर कोई फायदा नहीं अगर ये लवाना है कि दिखान आस्ती या अगर कोई फिर मैं तुम्हें तो बना के दे देना तू बेटा आपे दस हूं हाँ लाना है कि नहीं लाना हाँ भाई तू तू जल्दी बोल दो ना ताकि हम बातचीत आगे खत्म कर रोटिया बना सको रोटिया रोटिया नहीं बन गई रोटिया की ऐसी क्या मुसीबत है तो रोटिया तो तुम एक हाथ से नहीं बना सकती ओके अच्छा चलो ठीक है सो लेट जनरल लेट मी कंक्लूड वी डू हैव टू लुक एट द विशेज ऑफ द पेशेंट वी डू हैव टू लुक एट द डिजायर ऑफ द पेशेंट पीपल विद डिसबिलिटीज पीपल विद नॉट हैविंग समथिंग विद यू हैव यू प्रोबेबली के नॉट इमेजिन वॉट काइंड ऑफ अ कॉन्सेप्ट वॉट काइंड ऑफ अ विश वॉट काइंड ऑफ अ डिजायर दे हैव टू हैव दैट थिंग but at the same time you got to be very realistic as i always say rehabilitation means setting up rehabilitation goals 
and rehabilitation goals are always and should always be realistic. If she is a student, I probably think in case of special education, she doesn't need any kind of an assistance. She must go to a normal school and get education and she can raise and she can get to any higher position. She can even go for a CSS examination if she's well educated. She must not go to those trades in which there's a use of both the hands. So I think education, higher education is the best option. But in a case like her, you know, who belongs to a village where she has to do manual work, she already is doing most of it. And she has rightly said that the problem comes chapati banana, making a bread. So I think these are few things where you have to make compromise. We all have to make compromises in life. None of us are totally 100% perfect. So we have to make those compromises. For her, I would suggest and I would make a cosmetic hand. She probably may not like it much, but that may be a gift from our department. And that's all. Thank you very much.